Orpheus. What you doing? You were meowing at something. You were like barely meowing. You were like. Meow, 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 meow. What are you doing? This is Orpheus. I'm just gonna do a cute animal vlog today. This is Salem, he's Mr. Grump Grump. This cat was going psycho last night. His farts were scaring him. I also believe he had a touch of diarrhea, but literally he was farting. And I knew it because I heard it a few times. And right after he would fart, he would fucking spee away. And it's even funnier, it's made even funnier by the fact that his paws are fuzzy. So the padding on his paws doesn't grip his, you hear his claws going, and it literally puts you in mind of when Sylvester, the cat, would run away from whoever was chasing him. It's Salem. <laughs> Fuzzy foot. Fuzzy foot. He's so cute. He has such pretty eyes, though. And he is, like, pure black. His whiskers are even black. I mean, like, how cool is that? And all the padding on his feet is black, too. I figured that out one day when he was, like, laying there and his paws were up. Daddy, did you Oh, the cat's love me. I wish I could mount the, cam like, the camera right here. Guys, I only have one hand. <laughs> you can just hold my arm out and that'll do the work. I don't gotta go to work. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah guys, I'm getting tired of not having a job. It's getting my damn nerves. My last nerve. And I'm trying to fix several issues in my life. Do I expect them to randomly fix themselves? No, I don't. I don't expect to, after years of not applying myself, simply get what I want at life. I, I don't expect that. But do I think it should be this impossible to find a place that's willing to hire me? No. I've seen people that... I've actually seen places that hire somebody after they fired them because they were addicted to heroin and then a few months later hire them back. So you'll hire a heroin addict, and this is a place I've applied for, mind you, or a former heroin addict, but you won't hire someone that's sober that's going to come to work on time, that lives closer. And I've literally been turned, but been literally, it's not even like I'm being turned down because they don't hire me first or interview me first. They just take one look at me the minute I bring the application in and say, Oh, fuck this. She's fat. We don't like her. I... I don't get... Literally, though, every place I apply for... A lot of them. Especially the ones that I have the opportunity to frequent because they're like a grocery store or something. I will see new employees every week. And... You're not going to hire someone that knows your store inside and out because they live in the area of the store. But you're going to hire someone that lives counties and counties off. And let me explain to you why that's stupid of them. Last year around winter, it was either before or after Christmas, but either way there was a lot of snow on the ground. And people were not coming in to work because they either lived too far away or were too fucking lazy to drive in the snow. To come to work in the snow. 
My ass, if they would have hired me, would have walked to work in the fucking snow and been there, stocking shelves, ringing up customers, helping with whatever they needed. So they had a total of like a handful of people in this big ass store. So, you know, when it happens again this year, I'm going to walk through the store skipping. I'm laughing. I'm going to say, you feel like hiring me yet? No? This is going to keep happening until you hire somebody that lives local. You know that, right? If I was spiteful, I would. That is. The reason I started this video with the cute animals is because I didn't want my video to be just a rant. I wanted it to be something, you know, upbeat, uplifting. And I'm not reading anything right now because I just couldn't find anything to read, let's be honest. The reason it looks so red is because there's a red curtain. So when I turn this way, I just look orange. I don't know how Trisha Paytas does it. I feel like a mutant. Um, actually, I'm a fan of Trisha Paytas. I like her. But a certain person that she accused of being a stalker contacted me a few months back. And told me that her fans that lived near him were harassing him. They were driving by his house, calling him a stalker. When he wasn't a stalker. Now, this is my brief opinion on this. He was in contact with her, calling her beautiful, and sending her messages, and liking all her shit. And, you know, what most super fans do. He was doing this for five years or more. And she only felt creeped out by it. At that point. Which I don't buy. I really don't. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't buy the idea of, oh, well, all of a sudden I'm going to be, all of a sudden I just feel creeped out by you. All of a sudden I feel unsafe around you. All of a sudden you weird me out. I don't buy it, Trish. I, I don't. I'm not saying that she's a horrible person overall. I'm not saying that... She didn't learn from that. I'm not saying that she's never going to apologize to him. I don't know their relationship inside and out. I know what I was shown by him. I think his name is like David Carroll or something. If I got that wrong, I apologize, dude. Uh, but yeah, he sent me a link to a video that basically proves that he's not the stalker that she says he is. I'm not saying she didn't have a stalker. As, you know, prevalent of a YouTuber she is. Which there are people that have way more subs than her. Then there are people like me that have way fewer subs than her. But she has like 2 million subs. You know, so. She could have a stalker. I don't think it's entirely impossible that she has a stalker. I do think, however, that it's a little far fetched to believe that it was him. The reason I got sent something by this guy was because of the fact that I went on his video, which I went up to that, and I started writing my mouth in the comments section because he made a video, kind of, I forget what his video was that I watched, but I basically said that just because someone has, you know, because supposedly he's autistic, just because someone's autistic or whatever brain problem they have, does not make it okay for them to make somebody feel unsafe or to invade someone's personal space. Because it's from the outside, it seemed as though people were letting him off on the, oh, he's autistic, so he doesn't know any better thing. And I thought, you know, he knows better, you know. And from what he sent me, he seems like an intelligent person. He seems, you know, so I just gotta ask, why would she say he was a stalker whenever... Even if she had a stalker, it clearly wasn't him. Unless it all was for attention, which I would not be shocked, and I would not put it past her, so. But I don't know what the point of this overall video is, or what it's going to be titled. <sighs> I'm just putting out videos while I can, because if I don't find a job by the end of the month, I'm going to have to move back in with my parents. I really don't fucking want to. It's, like, depressing me. And I think I am going to start fucking putting a sob story with every application I put in. Just right on the back and be like, By the way, if I don't get a job, I'm going to have to leave my house. I'm going to be homeless and boo, poor me. 
Because, is that whatever, it just, if you have, like, a regular job at a store or something, is that what you did? Is that how you got the job? Did you seep pity from the place you were applying for? Is that what you did? Just let me know in the comments, because literally, it's so fucking obnoxious that they only hire certain fucking people at certain places. I'm not mean, I'm not rude. And I will do anything that someone asks me to do that relates to my job. I will clean fucking toilets. I will clean fucking food off the floor. I will do anything. But do I get hired? No. Instead, people that get hired are these people that stand around and go, Well, I don't feel like working right now. Maybe in like five minutes I'll work. You know, like those kind of fucking people. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you, okay? That, that's who you hire. I don't expect your job your place of business to last long, and I'll be glad when it's gone. Bye-bye. But yeah, thank you for watching. I got a little catty in this one, so it started out with cats, so that's great. Um, I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was fun to watch. I hope my bitching and complaining wasn't too much of a downer. Um, there will be a link to my Patreon. There's been a link to my Patreon in, like, the past, like, three videos. Um, there'll be a link to my Patreon. There'll be a link to a playlist. Um, there will also be links to my Facebook page, my Tumblr, my Snapchat. Well, not a link to my Snapchat, but what my Snapchat name is. Um, and a few other accounts. So, please open the description and see those. Do what you like with those. Um, send me asks, send me Snapchats, send me messages, leave me comments. Like, subscribe, have a beautiful day, and continue being awesome like you.